doggy walk movie talk. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about uh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna tell you something. The plot itself is still was still kind of kind of silly, but considering what we got before with Mortal Kombat, with Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Mortal Kombat, the first one being the better one, still classic, still, actually, to tell you the truth, I would still watch that. I would still watch that uh, Mortal Kombat. I think, I think that the original Mortal Kombat movie actually had a better plot on screen than this new Mortal Kombat. But this new Mortal Kombat is good on its own, uh, in comparison to the last Mortal Kombat movie that we got, um, it did have the fatalities, yes. Um, so this is going to be like a semi spoiler. Uh, uh, that's not really a spoiler because everybody knew, like, look, this is a rated R, so there's going to be fatalities. All right. Uh, but it, listen, it was a Mortal Kombat movie. What are you going to really truly expect? You know what I'm saying? Um, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was expecting, um, like a classic type of samurai movie or something like that. Like something like really big with lots of, with, with lots of, uh, uh, big, uh, like, like sets and everything and screenshots and locations. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say that this Mortal Kombat was quite enjoyable in itself it's it's fun to watch. You can watch it. You can watch it again. I think I think it's rewatchable. You know the fight scenes were very good. The effects were great, and I like the fact that you know the the plot. Okay, spoiler alert. It kind of get off of that. Get off. <laughs> it kind of centered around the revenge of Hanzo Hayashi. Okay, and uh, the feud between his clan and the Lin Kuei, uh, Bai Han. Uh, AKA Sub Zero, right? So it had, you know, it, it had like like a few lines and some throwback to the original uh, Mortal Kombat. You know, your soul is mine, that sort of thing. Uh, the the fatalities were gruesome, yes. Um, yeah, so th that's basically it. Now, now, can I recommend it? I think I can. I could recommend it. If, if, if you just want to see something new, and please see it on a big screen. Uh, uh, if you can, try to see it on a big screen with Dolby. Um, I think that if you try to watch it on HBO Max, you're not going to get the fullness. Just like I did with uh, Kong, uh, Gorilla, uh, uh, Kong vs. Gorilla. Excuse me. Uh, Kong vs. Godzilla. I think I would have enjoyed Kong vs. Godzilla better on a big screen. I didn't see it on a big screen. I still haven't seen it on a big screen. And I think I might have messed it up for myself. So, uh, I guess right here on uh, Doggy Talk and Movie Walk, uh, no, Movie Talk and Doggy Walk, I would say that I, on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, I will give... Mortal Kombat a solid 7 because it did have its Mortal Kombat stuff in it. It was a Mortal Kombat movie. What can you ask for? Uh, it, everything in it was extremely Mortal Kombat. Uh, with the whole tattoo thing, I think they, they kind of borrowed that a little bit of that from Annihilation. Remember the... With, hey, what are you eating? Get, get, hey, stop. Stop. What, what are you eating on the ground there? Get off of that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think bar they borrowed a little bit from a Mortal Kombat Annihilation with the whole tattoo thing. Uh, but they made the tattoo thing kind of work w with that. Uh, it made sense for some strange reason. The reason why everybody has the tattoos. Yeah, but um, the opening scene, uh, if, 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 if they did, you know, uh, released the first seven minutes. They officially released the first seven minutes uh, online for anybody who wants to see. They really want to show people like, hey, man, this Mortal Kombat movie is good. This Mortal Kombat is actually worth going to see. Uh, you know, it's it's so badass. We got the, the effects going on and we we, we centered it around the around the revenge of uh, Scorpion and, and uh, we, you know, we want you guys to see it. So that's it. This is H.B. Gibson. Doggy Walk and movie talk, movie talk and doggy walks. Bye-bye.